Alright, and long time, no video, sorry about that. It's just quite busy with things, but anyway, time to get back amongst it. Project 6, what's per kilo, how's it going? Well, there's only one thing, it's going badly. But we did some lactate testing. One of my friends, Max, he has a lactate testing uh, meter, and we went to a climb in Bristol, near Bristol, uh, and did some testing. So you can see, like, we're just doing 30 watts every one, and then one of them max. So you can see here, like, we got my weight, the watts per kilo, lactate. So you can see the graph here. It's not, I reckon, 100% perfect just because we had some teething issues and making sure there was no contamination of the samples. But I think in general, it's okay. Um, so you can see LT1, I reckon, is around 230, 240 in this, in this region here, which is for me is uh, like 61 kilos is, is not bad. Like around, getting close to four watts per kilo is actually decent. LT2, probably not great. Uh, again, like it will be around sort of, the 28314 mark so halfway around through that is around 300 watts so it's not unreal you know obviously you can do more testing it probably makes sense to do more tests between these two points but still you can kind of get a gauge that if my threshold's like 300 and i'm like 61 kilos it's not it's not looking good for the old project six watts per kilo and like before yeah i mean obviously you know the lactate meter doesn't lie i think my threshold's higher i know it's higher because i've done you know, 300 watts for an hour, no stress before. Um, but I think the point is, I wasn't in great condition when I did that. Uh, but anyway, you can see here's some of the, here's the actual files. So you can see like under 340 watts, like I could reach close to my max heart rate. My max heart rate is about 200 pretty, pretty quickly. So that felt pretty unsustainable. Again, like the 314 felt better. You can see the heart rate's a lot less. So maybe my lactate threshold maybe is closer to 314 than 280 but you can still see there's actually a massive gut, a jump up here and i'd say that's when it starts to go a bit bananas um obviously we didn't we didn't have time to do more testing but hopefully in the future it might do some more more testing anyway and then if we kind of look at the 230 240 watts you can see here like at 250 watts the heart rate's pretty steady it's not it's not going up too much uh and again here as well like 224 is like 144 beats per minute um so again not goes to show what LT1 is but anyway I actually have my first stage race which is kind of more why I made the video Belgrade Banja Luka as you can see not unreal results this race was not a farmer's race this was actually a difficult race with good people and yeah it was just it was pretty rough so we'll go through some of the stages to kind of see the numbers I'm doing um UCI races the, the normalizer is always comically low you can see like 240 normalized three and a half hours that's not really that crazy like this bit here it's like 50k an hour and I'm doing 227 normalized so you can see like it's in the wheels for me. These races are always not that difficult, but I often just like, I don't know, just not going that well before them. I don't know, maybe our power numbers aren't that good, which I think is true. You can see here it's like 300 watts for three minutes. Heart rate gets decently high. I think heart rate was high just because of like general stress riding a bunch. I hadn't done it for a while, like proper UCI stuff. And yeah, so you can see here again, like 18 minutes to 250 normalized, but that was pretty pretty relaxed but this was the climb where there was big deci like decisiveness i just went in like near the back because i'm an idiot um the fight for position was a lot more than i was kind of used to in a lot of the dodgy races i've done before so you can see i was doing like 150 watts for like four minutes which is not like ridiculous but you can see like this bit here is more like 370 and that just kind of like yeah made me pretty cooked to be honest you can see like i basically give up here in terms of holding a bunch and just hack 320 for the rest of it um if we go on peak peak power you can see like 10 minutes 335 it's not great to be honest um it's the conclusion obviously it's in a race but still like you can see here i did like eight minutes 330 it's like it's that's not really that good is it so i wouldn't say i'm going great at the moment i reckon six watts per kilo is like years off i reckon even doing 350 for 20 is years off this one was a uh, was a long stage it kind of suited me you could say more um but anyway straight out of the gate you know getting close to five watts per kilo normalized for 22 minutes um like i was like near the end going over maybe like 60 people but like people just good on this in this bike race you can see like the last four minutes was like 330s it wasn't impossible but you can see it's pretty like a lumpy climb then from there to the final to like the penultimate climb it was pretty easy 220 normalized like is yeah it's three hours but it's not it's not crazy difficult um if we actually look at like the normalized before before the climb you can see the kilojoules we did 2400 kilojoules um so like 40 kilojoules per kilogram uh, of body weight and then i churned out um about 300 watts for 15 minutes got dropped 
maybe 20 seconds was the time gap over the top um, on this climb. So again, like I actually felt like I was kind of happy with that. I was like, that's actually not too bad. Like Hari only 185. Like basically I had again, bad position, a, gr a grab split. And I was like, I could maybe go with it, but maybe not. Or I could just stay this group. And cause it's a plateau at the top where it was pretty stress-free getting back on big risk on descent and then I and then my palm meter blew up but also I blew up I just didn't eat enough uh on this race I've never really done such a long race before and ultimately like I had a good fueling strategy I just had so many gels in my pocket I missed four of them so yeah pretty embarrassing to be honest uh and just mint rolled up this climb so what's kind of conclusion how's Charlie going uh yeah not good um you know like in terms of where I'd hope to be, I do think this is one of my bad performances. Like I always really struggle in races to do power at the end of it. So doing 315, I'm like, it's not, it's a move in the right direction. Uh, obviously like it's way better than I've done in races. I kind of think my training day and my racing day is really different. And I treat it that way. Like in terms of, if I compare this to when I first did my like first UCI race in 2022, like I was so useless compared to this. So I've obviously got better, which you'd hope so. Cause I do ride a bike basically full time. But I think at the same time, it's like the six for 20. I don't know. I'm going to do a 20 minute test soon. And it will fire up training peaks actually um, and see what's, what I've got planned. But yeah, I think I'm going to do a 20 minute test uh, in a couple of weeks. I've got Albania Albania coming up. So this is everyone else I coach is training these. Uh, but yeah, so we, we see that I've got... Um, I've got two UCIs next week in Norway, which will be tough. Probably will get spat in both of them, but they'll be good laugh. Uh, but yeah, 30, 15, some sprints, um, and then pretty rough week. And then we'll do a 20 minute test before tour of Albania, which is looking pretty hilly. So yeah, I hope like this 20 minute test will be better. Like I definitely feel better after the stage race and whatever. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if we're going to, we can go through, uh, excuses last of all, obviously like illness and all the rest of it, but that's just part of bike racing. People are always ill. You just got to go over it. And yeah, so anyway, that's kind of how I'm going. I don't think in unreal condition, I think racing wise, it's been all right. It hasn't been great, but I think it's just like, it was good learning race. Definitely way harder than any other race I've really done, especially stage race, but got around no stress. So that's kind of good. Uh, and hoping like Albania is a lot easier um, and I'll be able to do some, hopefully get a good result there. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next one.